All right, we're up here in northern Israel, right at the Lebanese border. I'll talk about that in just a second. Today's been an extremely emotional day. Uh, we started the morning by watching the 47-minute video compilation that Israel has put together uh, of the October 7th events. And for all of you that have seen some of these videos, and everyone has at this point, we've shown some on the show, whatever you've seen, it's worse. Um, beheadings, like by hand with knives, throwing grenades into bomb shelters with children in them, burning people alive. It's just, it's just beyond imagination. It's beyond human imagination. That's what I kept thinking the entire time. It was very difficult to watch, obviously. People, not everyone could stay in the room the entire time. Um, I don't know, I feel, I feel changed, actually, as a human being after watching it. And uh, so we started the day down there. We're, we're up north right now. What's interesting about this, so we're at the Israeli-Lebanese border. Uh, Lebanon, in many ways, is a failed state that's now controlled by Hezbollah, which is really just an arm of Iran. And they have something like 200,000 rockets uh, facing Israel right now. They're shooting rockets in constantly and responding. We've heard some bangs and bombs and different sounds and things. Uh, we just met with some military up there, visited a house that was destroyed. There are 80,000 Israelis uh, that have been evacuated from this part of the country that now are living more in the middle of the country. Because interestingly, for as horrific as everything was on October 7th with Hamas uh, down south, everyone here, everyone here is saying the real war is the, is the oncoming war, the upcoming war uh, with Hezbollah. Israel doesn't want anything to do with Lebanon. It doesn't want anything to do with them. Uh, but they're, they're massing these rockets. They're shooting it in. No other country would, would tolerate one rocket a day being shot in or one rocket a month. Uh, so the real concern seems to be up here, despite the fact that the hostages, you know, there's still 100 plus hostages in the South and everything else. Uh, anyway, the, the theme, uh, we're, we're speaking with a really brilliant, brilliant's not even the right word. We're speaking with a really unbelievably uh, eloquent man, uh, an Israeli Arab here, uh, who just loves this country so much, talking about the importance of this country and freedom and how it represents all of the right things for societies and there's nowhere else that he would rather live. And I'm hearing that from all sorts of Israeli Arabs and all sorts of other people. By the way, there's about two million Muslims, uh, almost two million uh, Muslims that live in Israel as citizens and they're helping right now. Uh, they are not violently revolting. They don't want to leave. Um, it, there's just so many misconceptions. We're trying to clear up some of it, and, uh, and now we're going to have lunch, which is uh, well-deserved. All right.